A new star season out for 3.21.1 patch just hit the EPTU. This time around, it's for up to wave four testers. In this one, they have a few feature updates, and we're just going straight into it. The very first one, they rebalance the defend missions along with adding new AI activities and traits, balancing the rewards. They've also made an update pertaining to turning on shields in a ship while being tractored will now break the ship free from the tractor beam. They also made an update pertaining to reputation where it says slightly increased reputation requirements for retrieval ops missions. Under ships and vehicle category, they've increased the speed and torque of the Great Cat STB. They have a few bug fixes as well in this one. They fixed an issue that was causing players to desync while going into EVA and appear in multiple places at once or becoming invisible. They fixed an issue causing spacesuit EVA thrusters to sometimes remain on while walking around outside of EVA. They fixed an issue causing many detailed decals to be shown in low resolution textures. They fixed an issue pertaining to train missing sound effects and this is pertaining to the Metro at Lorville Tiza Spaceport Train. They fixed an issue pertaining to Lorville again where transit station platform doors are opaque. They've also fixed an issue causing vehicle tractor beam VFX going through ship halls. They've also fixed an issue pertaining to the Argo SRV where you're unable to dock with the missed Starfarer for refueling. Also for Argo SRV again, where landing gear doors close before landing gear is fully retracted. They've also fixed an issue with the two-handed dedicated tractor beam. Tool cannot be interacted when dropped within an armistice zone. They also fix an issue where multiple tractors or tow beams on the same objects can make it float without an active tractor beam on it. They fix an issue where quantum not failing correctly when towing beam is detached mid quantum. They also fix an issue pertaining to headlight. Light entity is floating in front of light texture emit light when disabled. They've also fixed an issue where you get the private property UI text remains after reloading from the main menu after trespassing on another player's ship. They also fix an issue where welcome to the verse journal entry gets copied every time the player restarts the MPE without leaving the hub. MPE means the new player experience. Also regarding to the new player experience, they also fix an issue where selecting the carry prompt to drink with the water will not progress the mission. They also have four client crashes, one server crash, a server deadlock. And they also they also mentioned that they're planning to run the expo hall for about 10 hours tonight. So if you haven't had a chance, go in and check it out. For those that don't know already, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If, if you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.